Today, I have a story for you about Diary of a Wimpy Kid, a do-it-yourself book. When I was young, that's like when I was third grade, you know, that's when I first came to the United States. And at that time, I didn't know anything. From fourth grade to fifth grade, around that time, I was really into Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and they released the Diary, Diary of a Wimpy Kid do-it-yourself book. I love the thing, you know? I'm wrote pretty much everything and done everything there is to that book. Near the end of those pages is, hey, here is room for journal. And I took that really seriously. And I've been uh, really starting to write as I was a fourth grade, as a fifth grade. And I start to writing about all the things that happened. You know, I had the map of the community that I lived in the friends, um, there's a story about the window knockers, I'm being scared of them, maybe I'll tell you in a different time. But I pour my life into that diary. And ever since then, I haven't really written a diary until I went to New York for SAT training. I lived in New York for about like seven weeks or so, seven or nine weeks, I think, maybe 14, something like that. I was there alone, I uh, just bought food and eat out and uh, went to church, uh, hang out with people and so on and so forth, right? That's not the important part, but at that time I was like, hmm, wouldn't it be interesting if I wrote my experiences in a Hello Kitty book? So that's what I did. And ever since then, I started more and more journaling. I stopped near like the end of a senior year of college. Uh, I think it's either like everything I felt that I was writing was really similar. Everything wasn't like going as I planned. I haven't like secured any jobs at that time. Ever since then, I mean, this is like only a year out of college right now. I think I want to go back to journaling. But of that Diary of a Wimpy Kid book, I, at that time, you know, when I was in North Carolina, um, I was kind of really obsessed with this girl to a point that's like very unhealthy. You just want to be with her, just want to talk to her, things like that. We kind of like each other in the end of the sixth grade and I had to move to Florida because, you know, I'm not a citizen yet at that time. At that time, it was hard for me to move because I have all my friends there. You know, I'm not the most talkative person. So I was really sad to move. You know, it was, it was just like, I cried all day. And when I was in Florida, I cried so much, so much, so much. I remember one time, you know, there we were moving and my dad wanted orange juice, but you know, me, I just, we're, I was really sad. And I just kept crying. I didn't really give give him the oranges, and then he got really upset with me for some reason. He's like, "Oh, you all think about yourself." I mean, it's true. I was never really happy then. I always want to go back. I want always want to see if her and I could work at that time. And you know, I don't, I don't. I'm a middle school student at that time. I don't know how anything worked. We decided to meet up in this area, the beach in Florida, and we did. And then, like, I went to visit sometimes in North Carolina. But I think I didn't understand the idea of we're young, we want to like different people. And like for me, I was like, oh, I want to be with her. 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 I want to be with her type of deal, right? It's like, that's in my mind. For me, that was hard uh, to understand. The certain things I've done that made her really upset with me. I think it was maybe on 11th grade, 11th grade, all the way from sixth grade, you know? I was upset and she, she wouldn't text me back for one uh, for that time. I was like, really upset. I was like, oh my goodness, what did I do? And for some reason, right? I had that diary and written it, I think until sixth grade. So it has certain information about like what my thought process at that time was. Boy, I don't know why for the life of me, I sent her the diary. I sent her Diary Wimpy Kid 
do it yourself. And I've been trying to get it back for <laughs> five years, four years. I don't now. I don't know her phone number. She has me. I think she has me blocked on Facebook. So, you know, it's been really hard for me to try to talk and try to get that diary back. There are occasions where like I text her and she said, hey, she can't find it or something like that. But you no, know, I really hope that maybe, <laughs> maybe she burned it for, for all I don't know, like she hated me. And it was, it was really my fault. I really want that diary back. Hopefully I can connect with her now and get it back. Cause I want to read that. I really want to read that. Because I really want to know, hey, this is who I was in the past. This is how I changed. And this is who I am now. So I really hope she'll respond. I'll let you know if there's any updates on that. I feel like it's a big part of me because like I just moved to the United States. I don't have that many friends. All the friends I have, they're either from playing video games, whether they're Asian, whether they're there to help me because I, I don't know English that well. It was a precious time in my life and you know, I want to read it. I don't know why. I don't know why I sent it. I thought maybe she read it and when she read it, she would understand that I'm obsessed or and I thought she would understand maybe like she responds like, oh, but I don't think she read it. And I'm not even sure. Uh, I, I think it's a good idea if she didn't read it. But I really want it back. I really hope that they didn't burn it or like something. Her parents are mad at me. Her brothers are mad at me. I was such... I didn't understand the world. I don't think I understand now. That is life. And hopefully I get it back. I really hope I get it back. I really do hope I get it back. So anyways... <laughs> I want to thank you for watching. If you stayed all the way to the end, uh, make sure to give a like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time.